Oh. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another very exciting episode of Bagham Outdoors. I know a lot of my videos recently have been a lot of like fish catches and I haven't shown a lot of how to do it. So um, yeah, I'm filming this intro inside the shack because it's kind of windy out and uh, we'll cut to the film of putting the tip ups out. All right, so right now, pretty much kind of drill some holes. I got Sam following me with the Vexlar. He's gonna make sure that wherever I drill the hole, there isn't a bunch of weeds. Cause we're fishing a bunch of weeds right now. Drop her down, turn it to S1. The S1 on the bottom right. Might take a little bit to fire up. So it looks like there's quite a few weeds right here. So that's not gonna work. I don't know if you can see that, but they're coming all the way up to five feet and it's only like 10 here. Next. Next. So we'll pop one like right here. Is this still on? You can just keep it on. That one looks a little bit better. Right, we'll put one in that. So we got like four holes drilled now for the tip ups. We're pretty much fishing like a bunch of weeds. We're looking for holes that kind of don't have as many weeds, looking for those pockets where the sucker hopefully won't get tangled up in as many weeds. So now that we got that done, we can drop the line. So now what we're pretty much gonna do, I got my tip up and we got the Bexler back in here. Before I put the minnow on, I'm just gonna drop it down. It's kind of a lot of slush in this hole. We're gonna drop it down to about About a foot above the edge or the tops of the weeds. And then we'll put the minnow on because if we had the minnow on first, then we wouldn't be able to mark anything. We would swim out of the cone angle. We'll drop that guy down there. Make sure we're all good there. And there's one, we'll set the rest. Got a flag here, Sam's running out to it. If you take a little line out, it seems like. There you go. You see him taking that? Should I let it keep going? No, once he takes that up, just set it. Got him? Oh! <laughs> That's Holy a shit. big bass. <laughs> That's horse bass. There's our sucker. The freaking hook is gone. Look God at that damn. bass. It's a nice fish. <laughs> it's like a three and a half. Oh, I can get that hook on. Put a bass like that without a scum frog. <laughs> <laughs> Good one right there. God damn. Oh, you got, you got the I got the players. Fucking sunny, musky at a bass. <laughs> That's three tip ups in 25 minutes in the same oh, yeah. spot. Or three flags. Come on. Good thing you set the hook when you did. Jesus. <laughs> Those three guys over there are just looking at us. All right. Hold them up. We don't pick with that. <laughs> it looks pretty big. All right. What a big star. Oh, yeah. Probably got munched. Oh, another bunk right there. Yeah. 
Let this guy go. Yep. Sweet. Damn. <laughs> All right, so another thing you do kind of help catch fish is if you're not getting flags, you can kind of walk around periodically and check your tip-ups, make sure the suckers get on them. We're fishing weeds today, so I'm mainly just making sure that they don't have a bunch of weeds covering them. So that one's still good, we'll send them back down. But yeah, it's another thing you can do, hopefully catch more fish. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I know we only ended up catching one fish, but we did end up catching one other little muskie. I'll insert a clip of that here. It's fine. People don't wanna see the muskies anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, not too, not too good of a day, but that happens. We gave it our all, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. We got some good videos coming.